Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Purnima, working as consultant gynecologist in Ankara Hospital for Women and Children, Bodipal Branch. Today I will be talking about preconception counseling. So preconception counseling means uh, a set of interventions which are uh, taken to assess the risk of a woman for her pregnancy and her baby. So there are five components in preconception counseling. These include physical assessment, uh, risk screening, uh, vaccination, counseling and last is supplementation. So in the physical assessment, we see the weight of the patient based on the weight and uh, we calculate the body mass index which is uh, varies according to the age and height of the patient. The ideal body mass index is anywhere between 18 and 25. If the patient is um, observed to be overweight, she is given adequate uh, counseling and education about weight loss, diet and exercise. The next uh, thing is the risk screening. So in the risk screening, we see for two types of risk. First is the medical risk and the next is the surgical risk. In medical risk, she is screened for uh, uh, the medical disorders like diabetes, hypertension, thyroid disease, heart disease, any seizure uh, history or epilepsy and uh, other uh, medical problems. In the surgical history, we ask for previous surgeries, previous cesarean sections, previous surgeries like myomectomy, DNCs or cystotomy. The next uh, thing would be vaccination. So, in uh, uh, the, any woman who is planning to pre become pregnant or planning a child, she needs to be uh, most important uh, uh, is uh, to screen her for rubella uh, um, infection. So, if the woman is uh, uh, found to be immune, she does not require any further immunization. But if uh, the antibodies are absent, then uh, she needs one dose of MMR vaccine. And if the woman is already pregnant, then MMR vaccine is given in the postpartum period. The other vaccines that are advised are the HPV vaccine or the cancer cervix vaccine. And then uh, also uh, these, uh, nowadays we are even advising the COVID vaccine. Two doses of COVID vaccine is also advised. The third one is the counseling. In counseling, uh, we um, educate her about a healthy lifestyle, balanced diet and also uh, we inquire about her addictions uh, like uh, smoking, drinking or any drug abuse and uh, all these things need to be stopped. So we need to counsel her, help her stop these addictions because they are going to have an adverse effect on the pregnancy. The last, uh, next in the counselling, the other part of the counselling is uh, for uh, women who are having a previous uh, history of abnormal baby or a family history of abnormal uh, ch child or family hereditary uh, history of uh, family history of hereditary diseases. So they also need to be uh, given uh, genetic counselling and also discuss about the outcome. The last part is the supplementation. So any woman who is planning a pregnancy is uh, advised uh, folic acid supplementation 400 micrograms per day for at least 3 months and for uh, any woman who had a previous history of uh, urine tube defect, a higher dose is recommended almost 5 milligrams per day. Thank you.